from the policemen who are on the road to the regulations that have been put by NTSA and everything else that is happening in the attempt to clean up this space. It tells you that the problem is not at a subsidiary level. It is at a substantive law level. And that is what the Honorable Kengara is seeking to do. See a gap in the laws, try and fill up that gap, and that is why I'm standing, Madam Speaker, to support this bill. If we start doing what he is asking us to do under, under Section 4 and Subsection 2, Madam Speaker, we shall be well be on our way to moving in the direction that we are seeing Rwanda uh, moving in. Madam Speaker, if you go to Rwanda, you shall see order. You shall see border borders that can never carry 2 billion passengers on one border border. You shall see border borders that stop at traffic lights together with all the other motorized traffic. Madam Speaker, that is not happening here today. Not because we are not enforcing, but because we do not have substantive laws that can move towards sanitizing this space. Madam Speaker, to my mind, the border border, the tuk-tuk, should be the last mile of transport from a bus stop to a gate. Madam Speaker, if we start looking at the laws that Honorable Kengara is proposing, we shall be able to put the border border in its place so that today you shall not be seeing a border border speeding across a super highway where other traffic, matatus, buses, trucks are moving at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour and a border border trying to deliver a parcel is trying to speed along the same highway in a place where you are stipulated to only overtake on the right side of the road but the border border cannot be in the middle of a highway trying to overtake on the right side of the road because they'll have to cross lanes madam speaker the danger that comes to it is that the border border is now forced to overtake from the left side of the law on a blind spot of a driver and this is why okay, we are occasioning so many accidents on highways because of these motor, motor, uh, uh, three-wheeled and two-wheeled um, uh, um, uh, motorized traffic. Madam Speaker, I would want to ask honorable members to just look at the recommendations that have come from the Transport Committee and see them honorable, as a point of argument honorable that can be allowed. Yes? Uh, you are moving very well with the debate, but uh, in the interest of time, I request you to conclude. Madam Speaker, I'm very well guided. I shall conclude by requesting the House to look at the recommendations made by the Committee of Transport and Infrastructure and look at the recommendations that the Honorable Kengara is proposing and see the gap that they are seeking to, to, to fill. And because whatever is coming from the Committee, for me, is a point of argument, let us argue it at the third reading where we shall look at what is good from what is coming from Honorable Kengara, what is being proposed by the Transport Committee, where there is a convergence of ideas, we can converge those ideas. Where there is a gap, let the amendments fill this gap so that we have a substantive law that looks into how we regularize and sanitize and tidy up the space of two-wheeled and, -wheel and, and three-wheeled motorized traffic on our, on our highways. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I really appreciate the opportunity.